whether you're using Android, iPhone, or even Windows. But as a Facebook user, you have to always be cautious and aware that your account can be hacked anytime. So your account may be hacked if you notice that number one, your email or password have been changed. Then secondly, if your name or birthday have been changed. And also if friend requests have been sent to people that you don't know. And if messages have been sent that you didn't write. And lastly, if you notice that posts have been made that you didn't create. But as they said, there is no problem without a solution. So in this video, I'm going to show you steps through which you can go through in order to recover your hacked account. So hackers tend to do so due to various reasons, but that doesn't matter. What matters is how to recover your account. So without wasting time, let's begin. So this method that I'm going to show you, first of all, you have to ensure that you're using the device that you've been logging into your Facebook account either a phone or a computer it has to be the same as the one you've been using so you're going to open your chrome browser so from there on such tab you're going to type facebook account hacked or facebook hacked account either way facebook account hacked so i need you to follow me through each and every step so that you don't miss out so there are different options but you're going to click the second one hacked and fake accounts so we are opening the second one so you have to continue with chrome So from here, you're going to select one of these options down. So obviously there are a list of options. All these are troubleshooting options to help you fix any of those. So we're going with the first one. So when you click the first one, I think my Facebook account was hacked. In its description, they say if you think account has been hacked or taken over, you should visit this page to secure your account. So you're going to click on visit this page. Still you continue with Chrome. And here you will be given a list of options through which you can select what you experience or what you notice in your account. So if you see that there is any of those, then you just select one of them. But to be precise, we are going to select the second one that someone else got into my account without my permission. Because obviously if your account is hacked, it means that someone got into your account. So from here, you'll be taken to this. To help keep your Facebook account secure, you will take you through a few steps to change your password and make sure any recent changes to your account came from you. So this will take a little minutes to process. So this, if you had logged before, that's how it will appear. Otherwise, it will require to first log in again with your details, email, phone number, and password. So from here, it looks like some changes were made to your account. Now we'll help you change your password and look at the recent changes to your account. Then you click continue. Then from here, you're going to enter your current password and then the new password so even if somebody hacked into your account you yourself you'll still be able to remember your current password so that's what you'll be prompted to enter so you'll enter that current password and then the new password will be required of you to set up as you're going to see That's the current password and the new password. Then of course you have to confirm the new password. And you click continue. So if all those email addresses are the ones you recognize, then you just click continue. 
if you don't you select them and they'll be erased so those are all my emails on my account so i'm just going to click continue because i recognize them as mine and also if you didn't add these people who follow prof their profiles yourself you can remove them now because as you said before that your account can be maybe hacked if you notice that friend requests were sent to people that you didn't know so then after that if you have any pages before then it's fine you can skip that step so and all done now it's at this point that your account has been secured and recovered so you are now going to log in using the new email that you created if this video helps you please don't forget to share subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be updated each time i make a new video and also check these other videos on the left and right and see you in the next video thanks for watching